The social caterpillars aggregate in sibling groups, their spiny bodies and aposematic coloration serving as a warning to would-be predators. The caterpillars are active during the daytime, feeding side by side on the leaves of their favorite trees, willow, elm, and hackberry. They molt four times during the five to six weeks they spend as caterpillars, crowding together as they shed their exoskeletons. When fully grown, the caterpillars move away from the group and metamorphose to the pupil stage in isolation. Over the course of approximately two weeks, the spiny gray pupa undergoes internal changes, transitioning from the spiny elm caterpillar to the morning cloak butterfly. The transition is completed and the adult e-closes. In northern parts of their range, the insect has only one generation each year. The butterfly becomes inactive during the summer, but feeds again in the fall to prepare for overwintering. While conspicuous when resting in the open, the underside of the butterfly's body is cryptically colored and is inconspicuous when it hibernates under the loose bark of trees during the winter. When the butterfly becomes active again in the early spring, the days are often cold and it warms by spreading its dark colored wings and basking in the heat of the sun. One of the first butterflies of spring, it's particularly vulnerable to attack by predators, but in the last line of defense, the butterfly falls to the ground and feigns death if lightly touched, becoming active again only after the danger has passed. 